today is a study in contrast. I have two companies and two products that are absolutely amazing in terms of demonstrating that. In my hand is the Honor Play and the LG G7 Plus Think. A study in contrast because Honor is on an absolute roll. In fact, most people are asking how many phones will they launch back to back? And LG, that makes absolutely fantastic phones, and I'm going to say it again, both to all of you and to LG themselves. You make fantastic phones that no one, absolutely no one knows anything about. Today, two top stories plus a shootout that you've all been asking for, the two most innovative phones of 2018, back to back against each other, the Oppo Find X and the Vivo Nex. All happening on the show today. Samsung unveils its most anticipated Note globally with top-of-the-line spec and a super smart S Pen. Meet the Samsung Note 9. LG launched its flagship G7 Plus ThinQ in India. We take you through this phone and tell you if it's the phone that can turn things around for LG in the smartphone market. Honor Play makes it to the market with AI capabilities and GPU Turbo. Is it a good phone for gamers and even for others? Find out in our review. We pit the Oppo Find X against the Vivo Next to see which of these futuristic phones is better. And as Android brings its latest update, we tell you what all this pie offers. So lots of news pouring in right now. Now before I unbox the G7 Plus Think from LG, let's take a look at all of that. Samsung Note 9 is now official. While the Note 9 borrows its looks from its predecessor, there is a lot that has changed inside the phone. The biggest upgrade has been made to the S Pen, which now is Bluetooth enabled and can perform various functions like doubling as a remote shutter for selfies and presentations. The S Pen comes with its own battery and has super capacitive charging that allows it to regain power when you stick it back into the Note 9. The Note 9 is a large 6.4-inch device with a QHD Plus display. The phone will ship with Android 8.1 and packs a massive 4000 mAh battery inside. There is a dual camera setup at the back which comes with new set of AI features. The Note 9 will be coming to India in this month itself but it looks like it will be priced exorbitantly as the base variant starts from 999 US dollars which is approximately 70,000 rupees. Nokia 2.1, a new variant of Nokia 3.1 and Nokia 5.1 are now launched in India. The Nokia 3.1 and Nokia 5.1 sport 18-9 displays and are part of Google's Android One initiative that promises an optimized stock Android experience and quick updates. Meanwhile, the Nokia 2.1 comes with a 16-9 panel and runs Android 8.1 Oreo. The Nokia 2.1 has been priced at 6,999 rupees in India. The Nokia 3.1 now comes in new 3GB RAM and 32GB storage variant. The new variant has been priced at 11,999 rupees. On the other hand, the new Nokia 5.1 comes in a 3GB RAM and a 32GB storage variant in India and has been priced at 14,499 rupees. Facebook is diving deeper into in-house game development with the launch of its own version of Snapchat's multiplayer augmented reality video chat games. Today, Facebook Messenger globally launches its first two AR video chat games that you can play with up to six people. The games are effectively a way to pass the time while you video chat rather than something you'd ever play on your own. Having already devoured many people's one-on-one -on -one utility chats, it's fun group chats, video calling and gaming that could get people spending more time in the app. Time now for our top two stories. Remember, I have the Honor Play and, of course, the LG G7 Plus from their Think series. We'll start with the unboxing of this. Typical LG-style gray slate black with a little bit of plastic. And if we open it, like I said, almost black slate gray. Let's cut open the sticker. Time now for the phone to be unveiled. Okay. So obviously, a workout is already done, just opening the box. And immediately, I will tell you, this is a nice touch, a microfiber that has been given with the box. With this, this documentation is here. With this, it has a charger. And with this, it has given it. And with this, it has given it. With this, it has 
हेडफोन्स तो बॉक्स में हेडफोन्स हैं आजकल यही लोगों ने छोड़ दिया है डालना बट यहाँ पे एक हैं और जैसे आपने निकाला है फ़ोन तो आप देख रहे हैं कि इनके मेन फीचर्स बहुत ही हाई रेजोल्यूशन स्क्रीन है ए का कैमरा है बूम बॉक्स स्पीकर बिल्ट इनटू द फोन है और स्पेशल डेडिकेटेड गूगल असिस्टेंट की है अब इसको प्लास्टिक से निकालते हैं लेट्स टेक इट आउट ऑफ द प्लास्टिक एंड टेक अ लुक एट द फोन इट सो लाइक आई सेड दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली ब्रिलियंट लुकिंग आई मीन दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट लुकिंग फोन यूल एवर होल्ड इन योर हैंड सो अड्यूल कैमरा एट द बैक लाइक आई सेड विद ए आई फिंगर प्रिंट स्कैनर like i said the screen is very high res so one of the highest resolutions on a phone a good camera great screen and fantastic for audio and then no marketing from lg i wonder why good phones like this and they've been pretty aggressive with the price too for a pretty high end phone that has all the specs all the hardware you need inside it this is about 40000 rupees here's our cell guru review You don't have to shout to be heard, but maybe in the smartphone industry it is the need. Not many know that LG's latest flagship, the G7 Plus ThinQ, is a darn good phone. But it might not be on everyone's mind due to lack of marketing. But here is why we think it makes a compelling case for itself. The G7 Plus ThinQ does not look like any other LG phone. It's well cut out, premium with a glass panel on the back and front, and quite smart to look at. But that's not all that makes this phone stand out. The 6.1-inch QHD Plus display is super bright with sharp colors and the pixel density is more than what the competition offers. There's a notch on the top giving the display a 19 is to 9 screen ratio. The large screen is ideal to consume content and we really liked it. It's easily one of the best displays in the market. What's the other thing that we really like? Well, it's AI-enabled dual camera setup on the G7 Plus ThinQ. The 16 megapixel plus 16 megapixel combination is deadly and to our surprise gives really good shots. With the kind of aperture it comes with, low light clicks have to come out well. There is optical image stabilization in the primary lens of the dual camera. There's AI camera mode which recognizes the scenes and clicks the objects accordingly. Google Lens 2 is enabled on this thanks to a powerful AI camera. There's a wide angle lens which can accommodate a lot more in the shot without distorting the image. Then there's an 8 megapixel front camera with beauty mode and filters to play with. Overall very impressive optics. Moving on to one feature which definitely no other phone can brag about as much. It is the audio quality that the G7 Plus ThinQ offers. With the help of a dedicated Hi-Fi quad DAC and boombox speakers, the audio quality is absolutely amazing. We like that despite the fact that this phone comes with a USB Type-C charger, it retains the 3.5 mm jack. The sound quality and effects options under the sound section in settings provides a comprehensive set of options along with equalizer and digital filter for users to further tune their experience. Hmm, audiophiles, are you liking this? Now let's talk about what's under the hood. Snapdragon's latest 845 processor, 6 GB RAM, 128 GB internal memory, which can be expanded to 2 TB. Now this combination is lethal. What's more, it is water and dust resistant and supports wireless charging. The only underwhelming factor on this phone is the battery life. It's just 3000 mAh to run this beast. Also, it does not run stock Android, which we wish it came with. This dedicated Google Assistant key on the phone, which when pressed gives direct access. However, one cannot assign it for any other function. There are both options to unlock the phone, face unlock as well as fingerprint scanner and both work well. The cell guru wording. The LG G7 Plus ThinQ has it all. You name the feature and it packs it. It is priced aggressively for thirty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety rupees for all that it packs in. LG got this phone right and even pricing right, but we wish LG could market this phone well so that people know about it. Else, it will just be a secret superstar of the smartphone market. Let's move on now to our next top story, a story that I've been promising, a story that finally takes on a very different direction. So I told you, a very very high-end phone, both in terms of the specs inside, top-of-the-line processor, fantastic RAM, great storage, and an absolutely blazing GPU, a special graphic processor that can be actually clocked up, which is a GPU turbo. Great screen, good camera, and it is one of the first. gaming phones to make a comeback here in india this is the honor play now i said very very nice specs but what we didn't realize is it's going to have a very very aggressive price yes for 19900 now you can get 
a true flagship, not a compromised flagship. And then it's for gamers, it's for high performance, people who want an absolutely incredible phone that has no compromises. And then Honor went and priced it at 19,900 as the base price. I think that in itself is quite incredible. So what we have heard is in five minutes, the stock was sold out, but you know, that's not something that we really gauge as a success factor. But I will tell you this, for the specs and for the price, this is going to be a big winner. All work and no play can make the smartphone market very dull. To make things fun, Honor is really notching things up. Right after the Honor 9N, they've come out with Honor Play, a phone with special attention to gaming. Priced at a starting price of 19,999 rupees, is the Honor Play a perfect companion for gamers and otherwise a great phone? Let's find out. The Honor Play scores high on looks. It is sleek and lightweight and unlike its cousin, the premium Honor 10, it does not have a glass back but a nice matte finish. The phone is easy to grip and we found it comfortable to use as well. The back, however, is hard to keep clean. One thing that struck us was the large screen that the phone sports. It has a 6.3-inch screen with full 19-9 Full HD Plus display along with a notch. The large screen makes watching videos a breeze and it is built to play games. Yes, the Honor Play does live up to its name and offers an immersive gaming experience. It is GPU Turbo equipped which is Honor's proprietary graphics processing technology and it boosts the phone's graphic efficiency to a large extent. It even it even reduces the jitter rate and gives a smooth gaming experience. We did play a couple of games on it and we've got to say this one's a pro. The refresh rate is high and the phone did not heat up even after playing a game for 30 minutes. And not just with GPU Turbo, the phone is fully armed with AI as well. We'll come to the camera in a bit but even for gamers this phone is an AI delight. It can recognize different scenarios and provide vibration for that particular scene. Similarly, even with audio it offers a 3D sound field like a virtual and cinematic surround sound. The cherry on this cake though is the processor that the Honor Play packs in. It has the flagship Kirin 970 chipset powering it and rendering this high-end gaming experience possible on this phone. Well, the Honor Play does pack in a 3750mAh battery which gave us a day of comfortable use. This phone can be unlocked using Face Unlock which was smooth to use. There's also the option of a fingerprint scanner located at the back of the phone. The best part of the phone yet might just be its price. The Honor Play comes in two variants, one with a 4GB RAM and 64GB onboard storage which is priced at 19,999 rupees and one with 6GB RAM and 64GB storage priced at 23,999. But how did they manage to hit the nail on the head with this pricing? I think when, when someone's looking for a flagship phone, he's looking at the best possible processor on it that can pull up the load. He's looking at the best graphic uh, components, looking at the best display, looking at everything like, you know, Type-C, etc. So um, it's been a tough battle for us to uh, bring out a game changer. When I say game changer, uh, I don't think uh, in the nation today we've seen a real flagship breaching the 20,000 rupee price point. And I mean it, a real flagship in terms of all specs. So it's extremely exciting. And yes, we've been able to pull this because um, it's about four months of work that we've did uh, to put down a factory that's ready to you know, build up from the PCBA. And we've been able to pass on the benefits and, and bring down a great powerful flagship to the consumers. The Honor Play runs smoothly thanks to the Kirin 970 chipset and it runs on Android 8.1 with no lag. Coming to the camera, the dual camera setup has a 16 and 2 megapixel lens at the back but the camera is fully supported with AI which makes it quite impressive. The lens can recognize objects placed in front of it and optimize camera settings accordingly. We tried this with food and it worked well. Honor claims the camera can recognize 500 plus scenarios. The portrait mode was impressive as well and the camera gave a good bokeh effect around the subject. The front camera is a full 16 megapixel and it gave us good shots in daylight. AI is built into the camera gallery as well and the phone can identify scenes and objects in your photos and classify them accordingly. The future of AI and smartphones sure does look like this. A cell guru verdict? The Honor Play is all play and all work. It packs in impressive high-end features and AI in almost every aspect, all at the low price of 19,999 rupees. The GPU Turbo makes this phone a gamer's delight too. So if you're a gamer, do consider this as the pricing is very good. And if you're not a gamer, even then, this phone can easily be your option if your budget is 20,000.
I've already declared these two phones as the two most innovative phones of 2018, and that still continues. The Vivo Next, the Oppo Find X, both coming up with some very incredible innovation that is not a gimmick that actually does make the usage of the phone much, much better, gives you a full screen, gives you a hidden camera, gives you cool ways of doing things. But of course, the interesting story is if both are the most innovative phones of 2018, then let's pit them against each other. The Vivo Next versus the Oppo Find X. The trendsetters are here and ready to be pitted against each other. This is the Vivo Next and the Oppo Find X that were launched within one week of each other. And while we put these two head-turning phones together, let's address the feature that is the trendy elephant in this room, the pop-up cameras. Well, in the Vivo Next, it's the front camera that is tucked away in the upper frame of the phone. When you open the 8 megapixel front-facing camera, it pops out. In the Oppo Find X, the entire pop-out chunk is hidden pretty effectively in the phone and not just the 25 megapixel front camera, even the rear camera of the Oppo Find X is on this chunk. In terms of the optics, the Oppo Find X has a 16 and 20 megapixel dual camera while the Vivo Next packs in a 12 and 5 megapixel dual camera. We preferred the shots from the Oppo Find X, they had more clarity in comparison. In fact, the rear camera on the Oppo Find X is AI-enabled and can recognize up to 200 scenes as well. The only AI feature on the Vivo Next is the button that can bring up Google Lens or Google Assistant. But moving on from the pop-up features of the phone, how do they stack up against each other? Well, in terms of design, both phones seem to have a good build quality. The Oppo Find X comes with a brilliant dual tone which lends it a premium look. The Vivo Next has a speckled all glass back. In terms of the screen size, the Vivo Next has a larger 6.59 inch screen as compared to 6.4 inches on the Oppo Find X. The display of the Vivo Next is slightly better since it has a Super AMOLED LED display which gives a bright and sharp display. Both phones are pretty similar as well. They run on the same Android 8.1 and they have the same Snapdragon 845 processor. But on the battery front, the Vivo Next has a larger battery than the Oppo Find X. With the pop-up mechanism on both the phones, the larger the battery, the better, we'd say. When it comes to unlocking, Oppo seems to have placed all its security eggs in the face unlocking basket. The phone lacks a fingerprint scanner, but the face unlock is there with the front camera that slides out when you want to unlock the phone. The Vivo Next has a fingerprint scanner which works well, but it lacks a face unlock feature. With this kind of a camera, we don't miss face unlock on this phone. Coming down to brass tacks, the Oppo Find X is priced at 59,990 rupees, while the Vivo Next is cheaper at 44,990 rupees. Our verdict? So, the Nex or the X? Well, there's no doubt that these are phones from the future. With a sleek design and a unique pop-out camera feature, they both win our hearts. We love Oppo's slide-out mechanism, which seems seamless. Vivo's not far behind either, with the front camera popping out just when you need it. If these are features that work for you, then both these phones are a good choice. Well, we had a lot on the show, two new brand new phones, a stop stories and a shootout. And of course, we'll talk about Android Pie, but right now, we'll take a break. For about 90% of people who use smartphones, it's time to rejoice because Android's next version is finally out. Called Android P for a while and now officially called Android Pie, it's got quite a huge number of new features. Some actually even make sense. In a sweet surprise for Android users, the new update is finally here, baked and ready to be served. This is the Android 9 Pie. The update focuses on many things which are mainly behind the scenes improvements. The interface seems to have a simpler navigation style that has one central button to go home, open latest apps and even to bring up Google Assistant. You can also swipe along this bar to see the recently opened apps. In fact, this update even supports the new trend with most smartphones now, the notch. But the main focus is on artificial intelligence in many aspects like adaptive battery and brightness. Android 9 can learn from users' usage patterns and adapt to them in terms of the battery usage. Another AI-driven feature is app actions that this update includes. With this, your phone will be able to predict what app or action you are going to do next and present that to you. And in an effort to make people more conscious about app and social media usage, Android Pie has a digital well-being feature, which will be able to let users monitor the amount of time they spend on apps. 
Users will be able to set time limits for certain apps as well. Google has also added more security in Android 9 with a dedicated chip to protect sensitive data like credit cards, etc. Android 9 Pie has been rolled out to all Google Pixel phones and it will be made available to phones from Oppo, Sony, Xiaomi, OnePlus, HMD Global and Vivo by end of fall. In other words, end of September this year. Well, that then was the Zell Guru show, but remember, it's that time of the year where every week something huge is about to happen or has happened. Lots happening next week. Here's a quick preview.